All right, up next for today is what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, make some insulation for these windows and insulation and blackout windows at the same time. And one of the things I learned from the element is that uh, you know, if you just use Reflectex or something like that, it, it doesn't really keep the coat out very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use foam this time. And this is not the, the brittle foam. This is the soft well it's pretty hard it's really strong rigid foam it'll bend back and i want to be able to i want to cut it to shape wedge it in and you can see it, it's pretty thick and i might even cut this in half too it, it'll provide insulation that uh, just you know normal window covering won't do and i'll probably paint one side black so that it'll be dark on the outside and then you know the other side will be white so it'll be bright on the inside all right so this window is clearly a very odd shape uh, a lot of turns and stuff so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut a piece of cardboard and just keep on trimming until i get the exact shape before i i i cut the piece of uh style right, i did my best to cut out the pattern and now i need to cut the foam so after a million cuts and recuts and little trims here and there I think I got something that'll work. Uh, you can see some light is still escaping through, and I'll I'll address that in a little bit. But um, so this piece is is a, is thick. So what I want to do is I want to cut it in half. Um, so one one goes on one window and one goes on the other window. <laughs> I don't have to make this trim twice. But uh, after I cut in half, then I'll I'll try to do whatever I can to block off whatever little light is coming through. All right, so I got it in. Oops, I got it in. And uh, if I could do it again, I would have definitely cut it a little bit bigger. But uh, I think uh, when I made the mold, I, I made it a little bit too far outside and I didn't cut it too really flush to the window, which I should have done. On this side is the other piece, but it fits well enough. And I'm going to um, see what I can do to black out these edges. Uh, one day, not right away, I'm going to black it out and make it uh, stealth capable. Oh, what the heck, I decided to just make it stealth ready right now. So what I did was I, I put some black tape to line the edges just to take a little bit off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some Reflectex in addition, and I'm going to line that real t tight. And another advantage is that it's going to give me some double insulation. That and this foam uh, should give us some a little bit of extra insulation. Cut the Reflectex, uh, and it wedges in perfectly. It stays fine, and this is actually going to work out great. So what I can do is that um, during the summer months, the Reflectex uh, it it packs a lot nicer than this foam. It, it, it'll roll up and it'll pack more compactly. Um, so I'll use that for, for, win for summer and then for winter when I need a little bit of extra, I'll just use the, the foam in addition to the Reflectex. And the Reflectex will seal off any of that uh, light coming through. So now I'm, I'm stealth, I'm summer ready, and I'm, most importantly, I'm winter wet ready. All right, so here's a neat way for me to store all these pieces for these two sides. I can't do it for all, but so uh, I kind of just wedge this one in. That's one of the pieces. Of course, it's backwards when I put it on the other window. Here's the other piece that goes on this window. And I have both Reflectex here. There. And, well, I don't need to take off that one. You could see it. So all four pieces are here, two go on one side, two go on the other, but they're both stored here. And the reason why the storage in this window is good is because uh, I don't use this as a blind spot window. I can't see this window from when I'm driving, but I can see the other window and I do use that to check the blind spot. So I, I don't want to cover that when I'm driving. I don't think it's safe. So that's the way it's going to store. It's perfect. All right, of course, this back window, I'm going to use the exact same process. I'm going to have Reflectex and then the, the insulation foam All too. Right. There is a look at the back with the Reflectex. Now, uh, wedging in the foam is going to be a little bit of a challenge because there's no real lip here. There's a lip on the bottom side, but there's no lip on the top side. 
And also you can see a little bit of light might be escaping or it could be just a, well, down here and some lights escaping. So I'm going to do a little bit of black tape on the edges to take off that little bit of light. All right, that was a real pain in the butt, but I got it in and uh, I'm using uh, three pieces, center piece and then two wing pieces that I use to cut the curves. I think it, it's, it, it looks okay. <laughs> it doesn't look fantastic, but again, uh, this is for, you know, camping in the middle of winter so I won't be so cold. Side windows I'm going to cut to the outside frame and that should fit the inside so I don't have to work on the inside. It's gonna be a lot easier this way. Cutting in from the outside worked great. I didn't have to make a hundred cuts to make it fit. All right the last one I did in three pieces but uh, you get the point and uh, I'm gonna do the, the front driver and passengers. Same process. All right, so that's the insulation on the front. I didn't put Reflectex on the front because when I go stealth mode, I, I, I don't want to cover up the front. So I want people to see that the front uh, passenger and driver is empty and it doesn't look as as uh, as suspicious if you want to be stealth. And I'll, I'll have a curtain back here. But so in this case, I just want the insulation. All right, no foam for the front, just to just reflect X. It, you know, it, it does provide some insulation. There's no doubt about that. It's air pockets. I'll leave a link on to this stuff and then it's channeled up by pushing these things in and then sun visors, just kind of like the windshield, uh, sunshade. And that's it. That's the end of my insulation.